Growing up, a bug's tough exoskeleton cannot stretch as the animal grows. This forces the bug to break out of the old, hard skin and expand a new, soft skin. The process is difficult and dangerous for many bugs, because they are soft, they are vulnerable to attack. Many species shed their skin under cover of darkness, away from prying eyes. Trials of life. Most animals start life as smaller versions of their parents and gradually get bigger. Many arthropods grow this way. When baby scorpions and spiders hatch, their bodies are almost exactly like their mothers, complete with eight legs. This makes shedding their skins a very difficult operation. Mother scorpion. Newly hatched baby scorpions are carried on their mother's back to keep them safe from predators. Hard times. An arthropod must shed its exoskeleton to get bigger. The old cuticle, skin, separates from the new one and splits open, allowing the animal to extract its body. Then it has to pump up the new, soft cuticle with fluid or air to make the skin bigger before it hardens. The cuticle takes about two hours to harden into a tough exoskeleton, leaving the animal very vulnerable to attack because it has no protection and cannot escape. Molting spider. A spider must replace its exoskeleton many times as it grows. Each time it has to extract every part of this complex body, being careful not to damage the new, soft cuticle or break a leg. This is not easy, and many spiders die in the process, never reaching breeding age. Stage by stage. Scorpions and spiders do not change much as they grow. Some insects have similar growth stages. But as they get bigger, they gradually change their form. A locust, for example, slowly develops wings that become fully formed at the final stage. Alternative lifestyles. The early life stages of locusts are called nymphs. Although they look like the adults and live in the same way, they cannot fly. But the nymphs of some insects lead different lives. A dragonfly nymph lives underwater, passing through several growth stages before it climbs out of the water and sheds its cuticle for the last time, as seen here, to become an adult. Complete Rebuild Butterflies, moths, flies and many other insects do not start life as nymphs. Instead, they hatch as soft-skinned larvae known as caterpillars or grubs. Their sausage-shaped bodies allow them to shed their skin easily and safely. They spend all their time eating and growing before their bodies are completely rebuilt as winged adults. Stage 1. Egg. A butterfly has four-stage life cycle. It starts life as a tiny egg, which the female butterfly usually lays on a particular type of plant. The American monarch butterfly, shown here lays her eggs on milkweed plants. Stage 2. Larva. The egg hatches as a tiny, soft-bodied caterpillar, a butterfly larva. The larva eats its own eggshell before munching milkweed leaves. The more it eats, the bigger it gets, shedding its flexible skin four times before reaching full size. Stage 3. Pupa. When the caterpillar is fully grown, it stops eating and sheds its skin for a fifth time. The skin peels off to reveal a pupa, the stage of the monarch's life when its body is transformed into a butterfly. This takes about two weeks. Stage 4. Adult. When the adult butterfly is fully formed inside the pupa, the outer skin splits open. The butterfly hauls itself out, then pumps up its wings to full size before they harden. This is the final life stage, the butterfly never sheds its skin again, 